I want to look at, at this passage that we have, verse, verse 6 and 7. I want to look at, at that idea of standing, not moving. And look at it regarding God's word, because there's a lot of confusion about this. I, I looked up this message. Um, now, I I will readily admit this is according to Google. If it's wrong, then so be it. But I didn't want to take the time to try to count all of these myself. Did you know there are currently 2,877 versions of the Bible? 2,877, nearly 3,000 versions of the Bible. In English alone, there are over 900 versions. And here's what that does. That confuses people. It's confusing. It, it causes people to, to question. I mean, there are so many different options. How can they choose? And they question, you know, does... Does it really matter which to use in, in their mind that, you know, you think about it, a person who who is a, a baby in Christ, they don't know any different, they haven't been taught in their mind, they're all basically the same thing, right? Or, or at least they think they might teach the same ideas, so does it really matter which you use? And, and um, I know that because I've been asked that question a ton of times. I can't tell you the number of times that I've had someone ask, well, what? Is the difference really? Why am you know why why is it that you're so stuck on the King James version only? And you know does it matter? It does matter. One is God's word, and the other are man's conclusions. That's a big difference. It's a big difference. They but they they question because of, of the confusion of having so many. Well, well, does it matter which you use, or or they'll question if there are so many. How do I know that any of them are right? And, and realistically, realistically, this is a, a question um, that is dealt with in our churches all the time. And I try not to get too far ahead of myself, but but if, but um, if there are the question is often asked if there are so many versions. All different from the last, well, then how can I know that any of them are right? Um, people have people ask, well, maybe maybe the correct one got destroyed years ago, uh, which which is why that, that some will try to explain things. And, and honestly, this is a kind of a, a growing movement right now that, that some will try to claim things like, well, it's correct in the original text. If that's the case. And God lied when he said what he did in Psalm 12, verse 6 and 7. That brings up all sorts of questions about God's word. So what happens is that, that a whole lot of people just won't stand for it. They just won't take a stand. They don't really understand, and they aren't really sure, so they just don't stand on any of them. They take a, a soft position because they don't know well enough be able to be firm on, on what is God's word. Because if you're not confident in something, it's pretty challenging to stand on. If you don't know. Um, yesterday, my, my dad and I spent uh, spent the day together, and, and while we were together, um, I was also doing some work, and one of the guys, one of my guys called me and asked me a, a plumbing question, and he briefly described over the phone, here's what I'm dealing with, here's what's going on, what do you think? And I was able to give him a, a confident answer. This is what it sounds like to me. This is what you need to do. Here's what your next step is. Because when I'm talking about this, I'm coming up on 20 years that I've been plumbing. I know something about what I'm talking about. I can give an answer and I can stand behind it because I know what I'm doing. But if someone came and asked me an electrical question, I may be able to give an answer, mostly my opinion, but I'm not going to stand behind that opinion because I'm not confident it's probably going to burn your house down. I don't know. No, if I want to stand confidently for those things that I believe, then I better sure that I know them. I better be sure that, that I'm confident in them and I know them. Because knowing what we believe about God's Word and taking a stand on God's Word is a 